on and we are on our way to Yorkshire. Well, we're in Yorkshire. Are we in Yorkshire now? I think so, yeah. Um, we're nearly, we've done most of the drive and we set off at like 9 o'clock this morning and it is now half past 2. I've done the first half and Luke's doing the second half of the journey and we are on our way to Manor for Luke's 30th birthday adventure trip. Is this what you wanted from your trip to trip to Malham? Yeah. And then this is the cottage from the back. We have arrived in Malham. We arrived. I don't even know what the time is now. Maybe not. Let me check. Let me check the time. It's twenty past five. We arrived at about quarter past three, I think it was. Um and yeah, the key to the cottage, uh, the door was just open and the key was on the table like they said. No dramas because I was worrying that it was going to be a scam and there wasn't really a cottage here. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely lovely. So we've got this little living room to a little, little holiday tour. So we've got a little living room, sofas and then a log burner, telly. What is that noise? What is that? I have no idea what that noise is. Um, so that's the front door and then it goes out onto this little street and that's the car parked outside. It says no parking in the village but they have a little cone which is somewhere down there that they put out so that you can park outside and just move the cone. Um, it's just like a row of terraced cottages and then through here the little kitchen so just a decent kitchen with all the things you could need cooker fridge is there there's a dishwasher which is more than we have and then that's the garden out there that's your cupboard with all the cups and stuff in and there's a freezer around there and then this little table there's enough chairs for four people and then upstairs there are two bedrooms so on the left looking at the back here is the twin room it's got this little bifold door and it looks out to the back all lovely presented and then in here is the bathroom i love these like authentic doors as well which is nice all nicely new clean amenities towels and then shower in there so we'll see how that goes tomorrow or something and the floor is heated apparently so that's a very nice little addition and then round here to the front this is the main bedroom so obviously double bed is the radiator on yeah the radiator is on then little dressing table which is nice wardrobe and this cute little window seat and then this is the view out the front and that building right there is one of the two pubs in this tiny little village and we can just walk across this little bridge thing there which is 
ideal for dinner tonight so hopefully we can get a table um but yeah absolutely lovely and then luke is downstairs sleeping or snoozing in the garden we did originally plan to go on a walk around the tarn today when we got here which is have been like 8k but luke had a headache when we arrived or has had a headache all day and didn't feel up to it so we decided we wouldn't do that today and we figured out a way to incorporate it into our day tomorrow so instead luke is just snoozing in the garden i'm reading my book and yeah it's absolutely glorious sunshine which is fantastic news um gonna be a bit mixed over the next couple of days like some sun some cloud but still lovely weather yeah i'll show you the garden and where luke is He's going on the Pennine Way. Oh, this is cool, this little stone bridge. Do you want to tell us where we are? What we're doing? Very mellow. Just going for a wander. Seeing what we can see. Yeah, we've come out for a little explore of the village before we go and try and get some dinner at the local pub. Robin and Malam. So I took a picture of that. What are your initial uh, Malam thoughts? Really, pretty, pretty. Can you see why I fell in love with it? Yeah, but you don't really remember that much. But the Dales, I remember. those cows were on this pathway in front of us <laughs> and we can obviously walk through like 20 cows so we walked off to the side down there and the cows when they got to us they just stopped and stared at us <laughs> like literally stared at <laughs> like 15 20 cows just staring at us which was quite <laughs> scary and intimidating <laughs> hopefully on the way back there'll be like further along yeah um, and like when we started trying to walk around them every they, noise you make they, they stop yeah they were like following us looking at us which was really unnerving oh, no, they they're just curious right? yeah they, they just want to know what you're doing and... so yes that was a bit weird they were curious because she had dogs yeah well, I thought that well, no, this is the perfect time to come on Yeah, the giant's boss. Yeah, really nice, nice because they're barely on in here. Yeah. Going in there. I would have. No, you wouldn't. I wouldn't I? It's too cold. Who said he went in this morning? Yeah, but he's from Yorkshire. He's made a stronger stuff than the southerners. First night dinner, and we're at the Lister Arms, which is literally our cottage is there. Right there and it's a really nice pub sitting outside obviously because of covid but very nice you've got their classic steak nail pie and i've got a halloumi and sweet potato burger bit of a different choice for me just feels nice to sit outside well sit and eat at somewhere like a restaurant isn't it this is lovely we're sat in front of the little fire and it is maybe up 10 o'clock now yeah maybe and we just we don't know if we've done it right we don't really know what we're doing we're trying to figure out the instructions together and luke's doing the manual maneuvering but they've got two types of fuel they've got like coal stuff and then wood but they already had coal in there so we've gone with that um but we don't really know what we're doing so hopefully what we're doing is okay and not doing anything bad but I think it's okay. 
Yeah? Yeah. Is it kicking out much heat yet? Let's just wait and see. Just put the telly on and start fiddling with your telescope. <laughs> this is absolutely pitch black. But let me see if I can light it up with my phone. See him, just about see him. And there's his telescope. And he's looking at the moon. <laughs> my little astronomer. Dark sky. It's Yorkshire day two. We're up and out and we're at this like railway cafe that Luke found online and wanted to come to. It's called Shed 24H. Probably could have gone a Yeah, you probably could have. Um, but it's, it's like all the OAPs. It's Luke's, Luke's kind of vibe, the OAP vibe apparently. So yeah, we're going to see if we can get some breakfast. It's a nice day again. Um, not really hot, it's like warm and sunny, but quite a nice temperature, wouldn't you say? Yeah. What do you think of your breakfast? It's very nice, I just can't eat it all. Yeah, to be fair, it was a lot actually. That was a lot of eggs, but it's lovely. What do you think of the station? It's cool, isn't it? And it's very quiet, yeah? Very peaceful. We're back in Malham now, we've had our breakfast at that railway cafe, which is really nice. And now we're back here in Malham, we've been to the National Park Centre, and now we're going to set out on our first official walk. Oh, yeah. There's a Gordel Refreshments van thing there. So I've got Fab and Luke's got a Calippo. Interesting. How much cheaper like a lolly was than the, mm. the, the, the 99? Mm. What have we done? We just scrambled for our first ever time up Cordell Scar and I'm bitten my pants. I did it. <laughs> I was really scared. Just gotta go up this little bit now. There he is. He's gone out to the edge. And then there's the water down there. It's quite high up here. Beautiful day. This is the tarn. What's the relevance of the town then? The town is where I stayed when I came here to school in a big old manor house up here which hopefully we get to see a bit closer Looks like it by the direction of this route yeah. but It's very big Town is basically that mean a lake <laughs> No sound and barely any cars the only yeah, people is up. us. Sheep, us and sheep. It's not as hard as you think once you just walk on it because it's solid. That was just one of the things that I was wearing.
come from around here. There's literally no one else here. Look how deep this is. Robin's over there. She's off. Look how deep this is. What? We're still on our walk. There's literally no one around. We haven't seen anyone for ages, have we? It's an amazing scenery. Here we are. How are we? We need to loop back a little bit if we want that picture, but yeah. We're okay. going round and into. But we're getting there, we haven't seen the cove yet. But Shot, it's... Up nine minutes ago. Oh the shop shut so we can't go and get the patch and the fleece. Okay, We've made it. We've made it. We're at the cove. There where Harry Potter was the scene of it anyway. Oh wow. Oh is it good up there? Might have to go on up there and have a little look see. We're at the bottom of the cove now. I've been here before. Right, mate. Just telling you. I and there are people over there climbing. We are back from our walk. We have done 22 kilometres. Roughly speaking, 22 yeah. kilometres. Our longest ever walk. Well, on Strava anyway. Um, probably longest, apart from like walking around the city. Actually, so I don't think I'm going to get longest ever walk because it's called a hike. We can change the yeah. thing there. Um, but we thought we'll go to the other pub because we went to the list of arms. We thought we'll go to that Buck Inn. And it looked the nice this morning yeah. when we walked past it. Yeah, it looked people sitting outside. We were like, we'll go there for dinner so that um, when we get back, we're tired, we can just go there for dinner. And obviously, still with COVID, you've got to sit outside. And um, yeah, so we thought we'll just go there. We've like bundled ourselves up, ready to go and sit well, outside. Well, we took like. Uh, blankets. blankets in a bag and we had everything, hats, yeah. gloves, ready. Yeah, ready tonight to sit outside to eat dinner. Sanitised, started walking through to the, um, to the beer garden because thought I will sit out there and the guy was like, oh the beer garden's closed now guys. Just sit out the front. Yeah, just sit out the front. Uh, are you wanting um, food or just drinks because we stopped serving food? It's seven o'clock. <laughs> They stopped serving food at 7 o'clock. He was like, oh, I think the Lister Arms over there, I think they are serving food until 8. It's Friday. Considering how many people are camping around yeah. here. Yeah. Unless people who are camping don't eat out because they're trying to be cheaper. Maybe they don't. Maybe they... But know. we're just shocked because it looks so like busy and everything earlier. Well, it's Friday night. Yeah, I thought Friday, Friday night. would be the one. Yeah. But... Instead, we are driving now 25 minutes to Tesco's in Skipton because we don't have any food in Main Street and um, it's just that normal turning. Oh my god, there's a sheep on the road! There is sheep on the road, that is what you get in Yorkshire. Oh my god, look at the sheep! <gasps> there's little lambs! Where are they going? I think they're meant to be out. Probably not. He's oh, pooing as he's going. Turn left onto Main Street. Anyway, that bit wasn't videoing. Um, yeah, we're going to get some Tesco to buy some food. We did say we might eat in a couple of nights. We just hadn't really planned it tonight because we've been out walking. We said, oh, we'll just easily go to the pub and get them to cook for us. Um, but it'll be fine. And it's, we'll go to Tesco's and maybe get some petrol and stuff. Ready for tomorrow. Yeah, we'll go to Morrison's. Um, so, yeah, so that is our new plan. It is now 25 past 7. So, we are going to be eating quite late now, aren't we? But it's fine. We move. We've had our dinner, it's now like midnight, is it midnight yet? Yeah? Yes, 10 past midnight. Um, we've had our dinner, done some puzzling, 
They had Harry Potter, Deathly Hallows Part 1 Which was on DVD. We, like, we just want a quick film, like an easy quick film. It basically was the whole way more easy. Yeah. But we were doing puzzling and eating and stuff as well, weren't we? Um, but yeah, because that like, scene in that was that's filmed. That's clearly why they've got it. Yeah, that's why they've got it. Um, a scene in that was filmed in Malham, so we were like, we were there today! Um, so that was good, and we're just getting ourselves ready, so in the morning we're a bit more ready to go because we're going to need to get up fairly sprightly. Luke's got <laughs> fairly Have you not? Your arms are cold. Well, my nose it is a bit it's pink. I haven't looked at my arms. Oh, you've cold. had that on the yeah. time, yeah. Um, oh my yeah. god, in this light, yeah. It does look quite pink, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, on the camera, it looks horrendous. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, we're just getting our clothes out and stuff ready for the morning so that we can get up, get ready like, quite seamlessly um, and head out. We're not going to anywhere for breakfast in the morning, we'll go breakfast here. So. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to decide, we'll sit and decide times and stuff in a sec. Yeah, and then double check like distances and between stuff and things. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that is the end of our first full day. Are you enjoying yourself? Really good first full day. Yeah, Harry McClary, what's wrong with you now? Both of my sides here really hurt to touch. Must have like, it must be like a muscle thing. Yeah. <laughs> Jean, both really hurt. Yeah, see, it's my legs and my ankles. Yeah, so like. I'm nervous. I'll be